Welcome to Biotechnology. The main purpose of taking this course is to help you get ready for positions and careers in the biotechnology industry. Expectations are needed for this course, and as for today, you will find out what the main requirements are, which a lab be performed, see a few of the many things that can be done with biotechnology, and much, much more. Course Requirements Biotechnology students are expected to be present and on time every day. Biotechnology students are required to maintain a legal scientific notebook. Class Procedures You are expected to be in class, seated with materials, and ready to work on the bell ring. The everyday expected materials are your scientific notebook, a black pen, a ruler, a calculator, and a glue stick. But most importantly of all, your head. You are expected to follow the directions of the instructor or supervisor the first time. Oh, Mr. De Los Santos, what are you doing on the table? The table. Chris, what am I going to tell you? You are expected to use equipment correctly, safely, and as directed. Uh, you're expected to respect the rights of others in order to learn and work. You're expected to participate in all labs and discussions, plus take notes during lectures. You're expected to do the work that you can. When performing any lab, you are expected to wear your gloves and goggles, tie your hair back if it's long, and be aware of your surroundings or else you'll end up like Chris or Carol. In this biotechnology course, many laboratory skills and techniques are learned. A few of these skills are pipetting, micropipetting, how to do conversions, how to extract DNA by spooling and more, how to make dilutions, how to measure the pH and concentration of substances, how to use a spectrophotometer, and much, much more. Nothing much, you know, I was just at a restaurant and got some food and it tastes kind of weird. It's one of our cute tests for me. What type of food is this? Uh, it's some Chinese food, I don't know what it was. It has some soy sauce and mm -hmm. yeah, it's kind of weird. Oh, interesting. Alright, that would not be a problem. Let's start. Alright. So I think the soy sauce had some, uh, something like GMOs in it. It was modified some sort. Of. Can you test for me? Oh, of course there's no problem, Chris. In fact, we can do the lab today. And with my technology advanced equipment, you can have your results instantaneously. I will first extract the DNA from the food samples, then set up the boom machine reaction and perform electrophoresis. Then I will stain the gel so then we can visualize and analyze our results and so on. Oh, but in order to perform this lab at such a high velocity, I will initially have to consume a minute dose of this out-of-the-ordinary liquid I invented. Alrighty then, are you ready?
As you can see here, lanes 1, 2, and 3 are similar. Both of your food samples tested positive. Therefore, your foods do contain genetically modified organisms. Not necessarily. In fact, the biotechnology industry believes genetically modified organisms, particularly genetically modified crop plants, solve the problem of the overuse of pesticides and herbicides and the long-term effects of those chemicals to the environment and human health. Also, the genetic manipulation of crop plants is not new at all. Farmers have been genetically modifying and breeding crops with specific traits for centuries. Only that now, there is an option to place genes for selected traits directly into crop plants. And these genes don't have to originate from the same plant. In fact, they don't have to come from plants at all. Many people oppose the use of genetically modified crop plants because they argue that there is a potential to create super weeds through cross-pollination with herbicide-resistant crops, or that super bugs will evolve that will no longer be resistant to the toxins in the pest-resistant crops. Supporters of genetically modified foods argue that these crops are actually better for the environment. The genetically modified crops can preserve arable land by reducing stresses on the land, improve the nutritional value of food in developing countries, and allow crops to be grown on previously unfarmable lands. Why take biotech? And what is ROP? Biotechnology is a rapidly developing field with many applications, including disease prevention, creation of new medicines, and improving the food supply. This class introduces you to the scientific concepts and laboratory research techniques currently used in the field. You will also develop laboratory critical thinking and communication skills, a few of the topics include DNA labs, bacteriological techniques, ethics, and much more. To enter into College Prep ROP Biotechnology, all you need is a completion of one year of biology with a grade of C or better. And if you wish, you can later on take the College Prep ROP Biotechnology too, which is now exclusively available. Napa County ROP Regional Occupational Program offers classes to high school students that provide high quality career college and job training preparation supported by the California Department of Education. ROP courses offer students successful career preparation by combining classroom instructions and hands-on field training in partnership with local businesses and industry partners. Upon successful completion of an ROP course, students are prepared to seek entry-level employment in the industry related to the course. ROP courses also prepare students for continuing education. High school students in ROP classes can earn University of California credit, academic credits, or elective credits. Most importantly, ROP students receive a certificate of completion that informs employers of the skills the student had obtained during the ROP experience. You are expected to be in class, seated with materials, and ready to work with the bell rope. The expected, okay, third over. Why are you taking a picture? Why is it not on video, mother? I'm recording, what are you talking about? What was the flash? Or is it, no. it's me saying It's a light, I think it's the light. All labs and discussions. Let's take notes during lectures. I can't. I can't remember that. You sound special. <laughs> <laughs> All the way. There you go. All right, I'm just leaving the recording for now. Are you done? <laughs>